Hello and welcome back to Rara's Adventures. Thank you for joining us today. If you have only just joined, welcome. If you'd like to help support Rara's Adventures, please hit that subscribe button and like and share, which will really help support what we are doing. Now today, before I begin, it's a bit chilly, so we are wearing our jumpers. Um, it's a bit so today we are visiting Port Nelson, somewhere that I have never been and looking forward to sharing with you what they have to offer and what accessibilities they offer. Before visiting I did look at their website to see what they say about accessibility and this is what I found. Accessibility information. A power lift is available between the parade and the main gallery level. Updated on the 16th of August 2021 on their website, they have said that the lift is currently out of order, but there is an alternative route which will be indicated. So we will be sharing that with you today as we go round. And they apologise for any inconvenience. The main tunnel and galleries are wheelchair accessible, gallery films have super text captions, the voice of guns and the story of Fort Nelson and other new galleries contain large print guides available on request from the visitor centre information desk. Visitor centre counters are wheelchair accessible, many of the large cannon objects are displayed in the open and may be touched. They have two wheelchairs available on a first come first serve basis. Toilets, adapted toilets are available on both main levels and in the visitor centre. Guidance dogs, only assisted dogs are welcome in the museum. Parking, our car park is directly outside of the visitor centre and includes 20 allocated parking spaces for visitors with disabilities. The car park is step free and has some sloping and uneven ground. So obviously everything that we've just talked about we will be covering as we go round. That's what this is all about, showing you what accessibility there is, interactions, etc. So before we start I just want to share a little information about the Royal Armouries which I have quoted from their website to give you the right information. Royal Armouries has three museums across the United Kingdom and cares for one of the most important national collections of arms and armour in the world. Our collection is laid and housed in our historical home in the White Tower in the Tower of London. At the purpose-built Royal Armouries Museum in Leeds and Port Nelson near Fairham we have a long history dating back to the Middle Ages. Our celebrated core collection orientated in the nation's working arsenal, which was assembled many, over many centuries at the Tower of London. Since 2005, we have also managed the National Collection of Firearms, started in 1631 by Charles I and assembled by the British Army now housed at the National Firearms Centre. We currently employ 190 staff and receive about 2 million visitors a year across the three sites who accept at the Tower of London visit for free. Today we will be covering the following. The Voice of the Guns, Artillery Hall, Art of Artillery, Underground, displays, kitchen and barracks. Today we have bought the mobility scooter with the wheelchair as we felt this may be easier and we are still able to share with you how we get along using a chair. So let's go exploring and see what we can find. Let's go.
So we are now at the part called the voice of the guns. We were going to do it indoors, but we thought we'd stand out in the rain. Um, but the reason, seriously, is because it's really echoey and it'd be really hard for you guys to hear. So we're going to talk about it first and then go in and do a little film of it so you can see. So, the voice of the guns, I've quoted this from the website to give you the right information. Discover how artillery, both small and large, shaped world history for 500 years. Learn how the changes in technology that made difference between victory and defeat. See large and small guns from across the countries. Now also, they say on their website that one of their highlights is the Saddam Hussein's Iraq supergun which is so large that we only display a small section of it across two floors. So, we are now going to try and find this so we can share it with you. Okay, so we are in the artillery hall, um, which we will be showing a little film as we go around. So here's a little bit of information that I've quoted from the website, so I give you the right information. Explore the 20th century artillery from both world wars. Highlights, there's an 18 inch howitzer designed to fire on first world war German trenches but not completed until after the war. Conservation tanks, currently there are guns recovered from the sea being treated. So we are going to have a look around, also showing what interactions there are and showing walkways etc. We have now stopped at the Fort Nelson Cab because we needed a break and we needed a nice cup of coffee and a bit of cake to keep us going. So I thought we'd stop here and I'll show you a little bit about the cab. 
So Port Nelson Cup is in the visitor's centre and it's now fully open for a delicious range of drinks, snacks and light meals including jacket potatoes and peonies. According to the current guidelines all our tables are socially distanced and enhanced health and safety protocols have been implemented. Only contactless payments can be accepted. Whilst we're here, I also want to share with you about the gift shop. Now I'm doing it out here as it's quite noisy inside and the gift shop and the cap are in the same area. The gift shop is with the um, cap as well and it's all accessible in there. Um, and there's lots of little bits, trinkets that you can buy to take home to remember your visit. Okay, let's go. Hello, so we are now in the kitchen and barracks um, with the kitchen behind us uh, because the barracks has a loop video going so it's easier to do this part here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the kitchen and barracks. So explore the kitchen and barracks, discover what life was like for the average Victorian soldier at Fort Nelson. Visit the barracks where the men rested and lived while well, they were stationed at the fort. See the hospital where the sick and injured were looked after by nurses like Florence Nightingale. Experience the Gallon's kitchen where they cooked and ate. Imagine what life may have been like. Okay, so we're gonna carry on. Okay, so we are now at the underground display, as you can see behind me. We are heading down to the underground displays. I must say that I'm quite excited about this. And it is majority wheelchair friendly. There are some bits that are not wheelchair friendly, um, as you'll see from part of the film that we show with you. So down in the underground, a series of underground tunnels that allow the soldiers in the garrison to reach important areas of the fort's defences. Gunpowder and ammunition stores for the guns were stored in the power magazine. So we are now going to share with you some of the tunnel, but we're not going to share it all. So we've got to leave something for you to see when you come and visit. So let's go.
we have come to the end of our day visiting Fort Nelson. I have to say it was pretty cool. Uh, really enjoyed it. As I would say my best part was the tunnels. I really, really enjoyed that. And we saw a little tiny bat and it was really sweet and it was flying around and it was all crazy and I loved it, I loved it. And when we spoke to a member of staff, they said that they don't often see bats. So we were privileged, just like you want to be on telly. So um, you should actually see that in the film um, by the time I've edited it, which I haven't done yet. But that is my aim. So hopefully you will have seen that. It's so cool. Anywho, um, we had a really cool day. Um, the majority of it is accessible. Um, there are a lot of steps as well. Um, but like I said at the beginning, there are other entrances. You just have to let them know when you're visiting and explain that you're in a wheelchair or using a mobility scooter or whatever your needs are. Um, and they'll try and accommodate that for you as much as possible. There are lots of interactions um, as well for kids. There's a salt course, which obviously isn't open at the moment because of COVID, but it did look quite cool. And if I was a child and it was open, I would have given that a little go, but it wasn't. So that was probably a good thing. Um, there's also um, other crazy little things spotted around which um, you will see when you come and visit. Definitely come visit, it's very cool. Um, and the cash, really nice, um, nice food, different sorts of food as well, and drinks and stuff for kids as well. So we have had such an amazing day. Um, I would like to say a massive thank you to Hubby for doing the filming today and putting up with me. I would also like to say a big thank you to Fort Nelson for letting us come along today to share with others what to expect whilst visiting or before they visit even. I hope that you have enjoyed today as much as we have and that you book in a visit and come, come along and say hello and let us know how your visit was. Um, and also, if you've only just joined and you have enjoyed your, uh, watching this film on Rara's Ventures, give us a like, give us a share, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more upcoming crazy little vlogs. Okay, hope to see you all again soon. Lots of love and take care. Bye for now.